All right. So welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to say whatever YouTuber says. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like, just do it now because it's free. And then you can become part of our cult com community. Our community. It's not a cult. It's a cult. Um, so today... Hold on for just a moment. So anyway, as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. I'm on raw. I'm on raw. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing another I'm on raw reaction today. Now you might be asking, well, why would you do that, Damien? You just did one like a couple of days ago, you know, and it wasn't like it was wildly successful or anything. Well, there's there, there is a reason. There is a reason for this. Um, if you remember, if you watched that reaction and you remember, uh, at the, the beginning of the song there was a, uh, a woman's voice, sort of low register woman's voice, and uh, I, I mentioned that it sounded familiar, and uh, I flashed a quick image of who I thought it might be. Well, lo and behold, I did some research and so I found a video that is a live video of Amon Ra and it happens to feature the person that I thought it sounded like so now I'm inclined to believe that it is in fact her in that song but so uh, you know we're gonna watch this this live video together um, because I've, I've seen the title and I can only imagine what this is gonna sound like I mean cuz I know she's capable of many different styles of singing and I don't know what I don't know this song from Amon Ra so I don't know I just I, I have no clue what we're in for but either way I know it's gonna be dark and weird because that's all either of these artists do so um, and I'm here for it 100%. So, uh, let me put on the old headphones and we're gonna hop right to it. Buckle up. the dick out I'm I'm gonna go ahead and be a dick oh my god words Damien so I know I'm gonna sound like a dickhead for saying this I'm not a not a huge fan of this guy's vocals like this the you know <laughs> I, I I can't sound like that if I try um but you you get you get where I'm going with this like I'm just like, I'm loving the music, but, like, I just, I can't, I can't get into it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say I hate it, but, like, I, I don't like it. I can tolerate it, but only for so long. So, hopefully, it, 
doesn't do that for the whole song. It's not even like I'm not sure. Like I don't know how to how to explain it. It it's the tone, the tone of it, the like higher register screaming. Like I'm okay with it, with certain tones. Like if it has like a flat, like more, like like but maybe even a little higher than that. More of a not so much of a like. I don't know how you would describe the tone or the note, or it's not a note, but it's definitely a tone.、Uh, I just, I. It's just his particular tone when he does it. <laughs> but it sounds like it's changing now, so let's. Oh, wake up, drummer! Like how they're kind of starting to build like an atmosphere here. Okay, so a that's cool. The、uh, the vocalist is actually facing the crowd now. They've got this whole syncopated like body bang thing going on. I mean, even the drummer is in on it. So I mean that that that's a really cool aesthetic. Like I I, I appreciate that a lot.、Um, you know the timing on it, just everything. It, it, it's good. It's good. Okay, here we go.
so I'm not 100% sure what the deal is with uh, he, he really seems to have like an aversion to uh, facing the crowd you know I mean that's like some <laughs> some Maynard type stuff right there um, I don't get it but uh, the vocal uh, w with her along with him well, her kind of dominating it at the, in this stage of the song, like his vocals, I guess they're they're kind of it feels like they're dialed down a little bit, and the tone isn't as shrieky, um, so it doesn't sound as bad as it was, like closer to the beginning. So um, I, I I don't dislike it as much as I did then, um, but yeah, she she is just. I, w I wasn't really expecting that from her. I mean, I knew she was capable of that. It just that's not what I was expecting. I was thinking she was going to come out and basically do the same kind of thing that he was doing in the beginning, but way better. Because that's uh, it's one of the things she's kind of known for. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> if he makes the drummer uncomfortable because it's like <laughs> he's just like right there in front of the drummer and she's like screaming his head off and like every time the drummer uh, like looks forward you know if he wants to like look at the crowd for a second he's got this guy like screaming in his face I, I don't know I just uh, that would make me so uncomfortable we might, we might, there, there's still like a good minute left of this song. We might, we might not finish it. If, if, if she's not coming back out, then I might go to the other places of this video that I plan on taking it. Well, we're going to give it a few minutes. God, what a menacing shot. Or try to cut some feedback or something. So the young woman that you saw come on stage and sing along with them was Lingua Ignata. Um, that is the moniker that she has her project under. Um, her name is Kristen Hader. She uh, is a very, very talented young woman and makes some very abstract, very... Uh, very comparable to like Diamanda Galas type stuff. Anyway, she she's toured with like uh, The Body and uh, obviously Amon Ra and uh, Author and Punisher and um, you know she's, she's been doing a lot of touring, uh, you know doing a lot of club shows but uh, lately her thing is she's been doing house shows, very intimate house shows like you can book her to play your house it's like that's what her tour is is just doing people's houses i mean it costs a lot of money like she'll come play your house for like five grand 
you know, but that's, you know, five grand, you get a personal concert from her at your house, you know, and uh, it's very intimate. Really intimate. So Lingua Ignata was recommended to me by one of my subscribers, Jen, who recognized my affinity for Chelsea Wolf and, you know, music of that nature. And, you know, she was like, you might really like this artist, Lingua Ignata. And she had just released her album Caligula, which is in fact a masterpiece. Um, it is definitely an acquired taste. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue that at all. Um, it, you, you'll either love it or hate it. That's that's all I can say. I myself personally love it, but I like stuff like that. Um, it's very, very comparable to like Diamanda Galas, crazy Diamanda. But yeah, hopefully uh, she'll do a, a music video at some point in time in the near future, and I can actually do a reaction to that uh, I'm really looking forward to that and I really hope it happens because that would just completely uh, make my, my day whatever day that happens to be Good people of the